All right, DJ Connect fam, what's good? My name is Andrew Lindley, and I have finally, 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 finally got the Cold Spark video done. Um, it's not going to be very good. It's it's actually terrible. It's actually so embarrassing that I don't even want to release it, but I am going to release it because uh, I told a lot of people that it would be done. So I'm definitely just going to put it out. Uh, I'm going to make another video. Um, just I'm just going to pull out two cold sparks, put them in like in a different location because I, I was doing it in the grass. Uh, it was 100 degrees out um, and it was just not a good experience <laughs> and i've also learned that maybe for stuff like this um i should probably run it by myself first before literally busting it undoing the unboxing and stuff um just because like obviously you're under pressure you want to get it all done properly uh and there was this little tiny on switch on the remote control that like i've never seen that in my entire life before um i had to put the battery in so i didn't even think to look for like um an on off switch on the remote it was like in the, on the side once I found it I felt like an absolute idiot um, but it, nowhere in the manual was this mentioned um, it wasn't like told anywhere uh, I wish that um, this is something that I'll definitely like put it out there that this is something that should be in the manual um, because the whole time like I'm looking that I had to like resync the remotes to the um, to the cold sparks themselves to the remote unit um but it wasn't that it was literally an on off switch that was on the remote that i didn't see um obviously like i'm in a panic i'm trying to figure it out while i'm doing it um and if i took in my time and really like looked over everything first i would have noticed it obviously um but i didn't i wanted to get it out i wanted to get it done i wanted to show you guys how easy it was um and honestly it was pretty simple it was pretty easy to set everything up um it was just power con in uh, you don't use the DMX like you can use DMX if you want um, you can set it up via DMX and control it all yourself or you can just use the remote control which is probably what I'm going to do for my entire um, time of using it um, there's like I think 10 12 different options on the remote control of like different things that it can do um, and I have talked to Cheryl since um, she told me that there, there's no way to um, continue clearing it um, and damage it by clearing too much uh, it is something that you have to do every single time like if there's any powder left in the units you want to clear all that powder out because I guess what happens is the powder goes stale um, and then once the powder is stale obviously it's not gonna work very well and it's not gonna shoot off at all so it probably gets jammed up in the unit um, and then starts making it so that like it's not firing off properly so these are things that you need to worry about about um, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of questions it's it's hard to communicate with her because she's obviously in China uh, and their time is opposite to our time so I send her a message she gets back to me the next day um, and yeah so I'm gonna there's gonna be a lot of like updates stuff like the effects and stuff um, how long you can clear I have a lot of questions that I want to get answered before I do the next video um, but once I do the next video I'm gonna do it properly I'm gonna do it at nighttime so you could see it like daytime was also a terrible time to do it the Sun was like beaming down um, she did say that if you are in a climate where it's plus 30 degrees like over 30 degrees Celsius which is probably like a hundred um, in Fahrenheit um, if you are in that kind of climate you're gonna want to turn the heat um, down on the units and probably that day when I was doing it it was probably around 30 degrees like Sun was beaming down on the units so hopefully I didn't damage anything I, I would highly doubt that I damaged anything everything was working as like as it should um, but these are things that like they're not mentioned in the uh, manual so I'm definitely going to talk to her try and get this stuff like um, fixed out before other people run into these same issues like it's they should very clearly state like on the remote that there's a on off switch on the remote um obviously there's a language barrier and there's always going to be issues like this but th that should definitely be on like the frequently asked questions or something like that other than that like everything went off without a hitch as soon as i flicked that switch up everything worked immediately very simple very easy to control um so we're gonna cut after this to the video you're gonna see what i'm talking about it was not a great video so i was literally just gonna delete all of it and get rid of it because it was just not like up to quality up to 
the standard that I wanted. Uh, I'm in a, like a tank top. I look like an absolute bum, but it's all right. Like I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, and it's like, it was impossible to even edit this video together. Like I've been spending, I spent like two hours trying to figure out how to even edit it. Uh, and it was just not possible to even make it happen because I had like I had my wireless lapel on uh, so it was good sound but then like I couldn't get that sound out because I had like um, video from my cell phone I had video from my GoPro and when it's all lined up together like all started at the exact same time it's actually very easy to do that because you're just chopping it placing it but I have like there's like seven different videos because I paused the video once it was like once I knew that I had to like figure out what was going on hit the pause button and then like that created a new video file and then I had video from my girlfriend's cell phone video from my cell phone um, if it's not lined up it's almost impossible to make this and I'm not gonna spend my time like wasting my time trying to figure out how how to edit this i'm just gonna make a better video um in the future but for now i'm gonna show you guys what's up they're they're amazing like no um issues at all other than that one flick thing uh and and one issue was that um the twist ties the plastic ripped off it and I jabbed myself, stabbed myself in the finger. Um, and that's what happens when you're like trying to rush things and trying to make it happen. I would, I would honestly just say, spend your time, like look at this stuff first. Um, this was a bad on my part. Don't do this. Don't be a me. Don't film unboxings on stuff. That's like really important like this actually go through stuff and take a look at it and figure it out, um, along the way. Um, but enough of that, let's uh, cut to the video. I think all there's going to be is an intro and then it's going to be like super zoomed through the whole like setup process, the unbox or the unboxing, the, the, uh, the wiring up, but it was so simple. It was literally just power in one power con. Then I had the power con, um, daisy chain. So I had two on one side, two on the other side, and those two were daisy chain together. And then, um, it was just like an extension cord to the one power con to the head unit. Uh, but there is no like, um, main unit. I do believe that there is a way to set that up, but pretty well, like they all fired at the exact same time. Um, with that remote control, like it all fired at the exact same time. There wasn't one that was like missing. Um, the three went off and one didn't, that didn't happen at all. So I think that it's fine. I think everything out of the box is just good to go. Uh, just make sure you know about that flick on the remote control. That was super important. That's what like derailed everything. Had I found that, um, the initial video would have been good. Like even if it took me 10 minutes, but it, it took me a lot longer than that because I went to the manual, started looking through there, and then I started like looking into the unit. And I was like, because I saw that the, you had to like pair the uh, remote controls. They come paired, right? So it should just work. But I'm like freaking out thinking that I have to figure out how to pair the uh, remote control. And I wasn't able to get into the advanced settings, what they said in the manual. Uh, so it just turned out to be a shit show. And all it was was this one little stupid uh, little power connector. Uh, but yeah, let's jump to that video. It's just going to go right through it all very quickly. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, drop it in the comments and I will definitely answer um, all of your questions there. It's going to be a lot easier that way. Uh, and then I'm just going to make another video at nighttime showing off what these things can really do. Um, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the embarrassment that will follow this video right here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it just helps me put out more content like this. It, it, it makes it so that I have to put this content out. Like I just want to delete the whole folder and forget this ever happened, but I can't. So enjoy y'all like, and subscribe below. video is all about these cold sparks everyone has been after me saying oh can you get that video done you got that video done I know you did the lighting but can you get to go do those cold sparks unfortunately I'm from Canada it does it's not very nice out ever and we finally got a beautiful day 
Uh, I got these things set up already. We're gonna jump through the whole unboxing, um, everything that it took to get here. There's been a few little mishaps here and there, but pretty well. Uh, they're straightforward. Always read your manual, which is something I don't do, and I'm sure a lot of us do not do. Um, but the biggest issue was this little power button right here. Uh, you'll see more once we get into there, but um, apart from that, everything seems to be pretty straightforward, pretty amazing. These things are killer. They're gonna make you a lot of money in the long run. Do not be scared to use them, and I've, I've been scared to use them. Uh, lots of, like, you gotta bring them out. Um, some venues are not about them anyway, so you definitely have to get uh, a go-ahead before you ever bust these things out. You don't want to uh, bring these onto a venue that is not interested in having indoor fireworks. Uh, but they're dope, so let's go back. So I found out at the last second after a bunch of nonsense that there's actually a power on button on the remote control. So don't make that mistake. Uh, it's been a nightmare. We are ready to go. We're gonna light this thing up right now. Three, two, one, let's go. Ooh. So they work great. They work. They work great uh, once you get all the little kinks out there's been a few little issues uh, but once you figure it out it's over the biggest one being this everything else was pretty straightforward plug it in DMX in power con in I got one connected to the other uh, with another extension cord here another one attached to another and then they all just have these little remote control boxes which is for this for five seconds <laughs> Thank you.